We are going to see factors for the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte to power in 1799. Number one, the annexation of Corsica Island by France in 1768. Let me tell you today, Corsica was part of Italy, but it was conquered by France in 1768, and Napoleon was born in 1769. It is this that made him to be a Frenchman by birth. So we are saying today, it was the next session of Corsica that helped Napoleon to get political what? power. So we are saying, in 1768, the island where Napoleon was born became a French territory as France got it from the, the Republic of Genoa, Italy. Though born on the island of Corsica Island, Napoleon was therefore born as a French citizen altogether because Corsica was conquered by France in 1768 and he was born in 1769. So it is this that made him to be a Frenchman by birth. So it is this that led to his rise to power because if he wasn't like born a Frenchman, he wouldn't become a president of a country called what? France. So we are saying the annexation of Corsica Island by France led to Napoleon's rise to power. Another one, the role played by Napoleon's father, Charles Bonaparte. This man had friendly relations with the nobility class in France, and this contributed to Napoleon's rise. The friendship of his father with the nobility assisted Napoleon to study in the prestigious military academies or schools of Brienne and later Paris. Let me tell you today, Napoleon's father led to his rise to power. Where we are realizing the role played by Charles, Charles had friendly relations with the nobility class. It is this that helped Napoleon to be allowed to study in Brienne. Let me tell you, Brienne was the academy for sons of nobles and the clergy. But by this time, since Napoleon had friendly relations with the nobility class, it is this that led to Napoleon's rise to power. Where I can say in Brienne, he studied issues concerning about militarism even issues concerning about political education. So it is this that helped him to get political what? power. We are looking at the rise of a man, Napoleon Bonaparte. The man we are looking at today, at one time he said, I know where my eyes stop, but I don't know where my ambitions stop. He said, a normal man sleeps for only two hours, a woman four hours, and a fool eight hours. And he said everything is possible. Only the word impossible is written by fools in the books of dictionary. That is Napoleon Bonaparte, great star among all stars. Another one, Napoleon's family background. Family what? Background. By the fact that Napoleon was supposed to be an Italian citizen. He hated the French citizenship, which was forced onto him. He was also born from a very poor family, and therefore while in the military academies, Napoleon faced loneliness. And because he was, and because he was, um, he was studying with the sons of the one of the rich altogether. So we are saying today, Napoleon's family what? Background. I can tell you, Napoleon Bonaparte, he was coming from a, a struggling family. By this time when he was placed to study in the Brienne Military Academy, he was with the sons of nobles and the clergy. So this made him to work very hard because he wanted to liberate himself, to liberate his family, and to liberate a country called what? France. So it is this that 
gave him some kind of courage to work very hard to liberate him what? Him was saved. So Napoleon's family background led to his rise to what? To power. A great star among all stars. Napoleon Bonaparte. Another key aspect, the role played by the French Revolution of 1789. We are saying today, the French Revolution of 1789 led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. But uh, what's all about the French Revolution? It is seen the revolution abolished the social class divisions. You remember at one time people in France were divided into classes. Nobles, clergy, and the peasants. So it was the French Revolution that abolished all classes and declared that all people are supposed to be what? Eco. That's why Napoleon, a son of a peasant, was allowed to get political power. Because by this time, the revolution had abolished the social art class system. So we are seeing the French Revolution led to Napoleon's rise to power because it abolished the social class what? system. Still, the revolution created the shortage of military officers. Let me tell you, the French Revolution led to the shortage of capable military officers. I can tell you, many of them died as a result of the French one Revolution. Others had been arrested. You remember, in this kind of arrangement, even big names died in the reign of terror. Among them Robespierre, Danton. So it is this that helped Napoleon to get political power. Because by this time, there was a shortage of military what? officers. And he was chosen even by the director of what? government, which raised his name in politics. So we are saying the French Revolution led to Napoleon's rise to what? To power. Another one it created a tradition of violence, terror, and coups. The revolution created a tradition of violence, terror, and what? And the coups. We are, we are seeing today the revolution led to the reign of terror, period of great fear and suffering. If you are not killed in the morning, you are to be killed in the what? In the evening. So it is this that led to Napoleon's rise to what? To power. Because it led to the reign of terror. Which reign of terror claimed the lives of big names? Like King Louis XVI, Danton and Robespierre. So by this time, Napoleon used the situation, reign of terror, situation of situation analysis. Napoleon used the situation to convince people that he was the only man to solve their what? Problems. That's why he was chosen in 1799. Another one, the revolution provided Napoleon with an opportunity to display his military skills. We are saying today, the revolution provided Napoleon with an opportunity to display his military what? skills. I can tell you some people didn't know that Napoleon was a great soldier. But because of the French Revolution, he was chosen by the director of government to go and liberate Italy from Austria. But by this time, in the Italian campaign, he displayed his military what? skills, and the soldiers looked at him as a great soldier. That's why when time reached in 1799, and he stated the coup d'etat, he was supported by the what? By the soldiers. So it was the revolution that helped Napoleon to display his military what? skills, and this led to his rise to power. Then, it, the revolution ushered in confusion, civil disorder, foreign wars with the rest of what? Europe. 
and it is this that was exploited by Napoleon, tries to add to power. Because Napoleon convinced people that if you choose me today, I'm going to solve all your what? problems. That's why the soldiers had to support him. So we are saying, without the French Revolution of 1789, Napoleon would have died a common man. It was the revolution that helped him to display his greatness. Another one, it introduced or exposed Napoleon to very many important and influential leaders. For example, Napoleon was a great friend at one time to big names like Robespierre. He was a great friend to Barras. Altogether, my new Barras was one of the directors of the directorate government. So it is this that led to his rise to what? To power. So I can see the revolution exposed it. Napoleon to very many important people, and this gave him an upper hand. That's why at one time, some directors of the directorial government supported him, and he took political what? power. Big names like Barras supported Napoleon Bonaparte. Another one, it gave birth to the ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity. We are saying today, the French Revolution gave birth to the ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity, where I can say the revolutionary ideas, liberty, equality, and fraternity led to Napoleon's rise to power. How? Napoleon used these ideas to campaign for himself. Because the ideas we are calling for equality, that all of people are what? Are equal. That's why even a son of a son of a peasant, Napoleon, was was chosen. Another one, it led to the formation of the revolutionary army, known as the National Guard, which replaced the Royal Guard. Let me tell you, this revolutionary army later served as an instrument that elevated Napoleon Bonaparte. Because when he was chosen he, by the directorial government, he led some of these soldiers to go in the Italian war campaign. And by this time, this raised his greatness. Because in Italy, he managed to liberate Italy from Austria. And this raised the greatness of a man called Napoleon Bonaparte. So friends, one of the key reasons that led to Napoleon's rise to power was the French Revolution of 1789. A great star among all stars was Napoleon Bonaparte. Another point, Napoleon's intelligence. Napoleon was a, a genius or intelligent, and therefore while in the military academies, he excelled in the military courses, and he was equipped with unique fighting skills. So Napoleon is intelligent. He was a very intelligent man. That at a time when he was given soldiers full of problems in the Italian campaign, to go and liberate Italy from Austria. He managed to convince the soldiers because he told them, you are badly fed and partially equipped, but I'm going to lead you into important places of the world where you'll gain honor and prestige. A man gave hope to the hopeless soldiers. When he reached in Italy, the Italians shunned him. He told the Italians, you people of Italy, we have come to break the chains of oppression. Welcome us today. You are going to be happy. And he was there to welcome him. So we are saying Napoleon is what? Intelligence. That's why in whatever he did, he dared to be noticed. He became very popular after the Italian campaign and later even in the Egyptian what? campaign. 
and this led to his rise to what? To power. Another one, Napoleon is married, married to Josephine in 1796. So we are saying Josephine was the daughter of one of the directors of the directorate government. And this director was called Barras. Was called who? Barras. So by this time, Napoleon married for political reasons. We are saying today, by marrying the daughter of one of the lead politicians, Napoleon had it rise to power. Because when he married Josephine, the daughter of Barras, it is this that made Barras to campaign for him altogether. By the time he studied the coup d'etat in 1799, Barras was behind him. Because by this time, Napoleon calculated that when I married Josephine, the daughter of Barras, Barras is going to campaign for me. And this led to his rise to what? To power. He doesn't just marry. He had to marry for political what? Reasons. Strategic politicians. They don't marry for love. They marry for strategic reasons. That was Napoleon Bonaparte. Another one, Napoleon's character or personality. He had exceptional organization skills and administrative abilities. And this was backed by his oratory power or eloquence. Napoleon's character, he was an orator. He could talk and convince. By the way, Napoleon was a magnetic speaker. His speeches could attract people as a magnet can attract laser bread. That's why he was chosen. He was able to convince people and the people had it to rally behind him. So we are looking at the greatness of a man, Napoleon Bonaparte, lead thinker. So we are saying Napoleon is the character led to his rise to power. At a time, even the soldiers were, don't, were lacking hope. Napoleon managed to give them what? Hope. And that's why he was chosen. Then Napoleon is ambition. Napoleon is what? Very ambitious man. From his childhood, Napoleon had an ambition of being at the top of the society. For example, at the age of 10 years, he had admired to be a soldier like his father. While a youth, he made an attempt to liberate Corsica from France. His ambitious character also dragged him into wars with the great powers of that time. So we believe by this time, Napoleon is ambition. The ambition made him to work very hard and later he became a great man in a country called what? France. That's why in whatever he did, he dared to be noticed. And later he became a great one, a great man. So friends, you need to understand the rise of a man. That is Napoleon Bonaparte. I can tell you he took political power in 1799. Then the contribution of his brother, Lucien Bonaparte. Lucien Bonaparte, good man, Lucien. Lucien was the leader of the House of 500 a very influential council that was determining who was going to be the leader of France when Napoleon was presented in the House of 500. Lucien, he was shunned by the house. But Lucien, his brother, is the one who convinced the council that he is my brother. Support him if he turns against democracy. I remove his hair. By this time, Napoleon had to be supported by the what? By the council. So praise be to big brother, Lucien Bonaparte, a very good man, Lucien. So it is this that led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. 
Then the support from the revolutionary army. The support from the revolutionary what? Army. So we are saying the army supported him. You remember in the Italian campaign, Napoleon managed to give hope to the soldiers. It is this that made him a darling in the minds of the what? Of the soldier. That's why after the Italian campaign, he got support of so many soldiers. And by this time, by the time he rose up and he was campaigning for leadership, he had to be supported. So we are seeing the support from the revolutionary army. When the army supported him, it made even other people to do what? To support him. Then the scientific improvements in Europe at the time also led to Napoleon's rise to power. At the time of Napoleon's campaign, there were new advancements in military science where modern weapons like mobile artillery, telescopes, and road maps had been invented, on which Napoleon used it to register our success. So the scientific improvement, whereby in this time it is said there was what you call scientific improvements. Many people, many things had been invented. Napoleon used the, those things to rise to what? To power. So the scientific improvements in Europe was capitalized on by Napoleon and he became a leader of a country called what? France. France. I can tell you, Napoleon had to rise to power. Then Napoleon is close association with the prominent leaders. Napoleon is close association with the prominent what? Leaders. He was a great friend to big brands in politics, like Robespierre, Barras. So his close association with the prominent leaders led to Napoleon's rise to what? To power. Because he was a great friend to big brands in politics. It is this that gave him an upper hand and he became a leader of a country called what? France. I can tell you, Napoleon needs to be celebrated. Another one, Napoleon is luck. Napoleon's what? It is seen. He was lucky that he survived in the reign of terror at a time when big names were killed. For example, King Louis Award, the 16th. Robespierre, Danton, Napoleon was able to do what? To survive. So his luck led to his rise to what? To power. It is seen Napoleon was among the eight children that survived the death, that survived the death of the 13 children of his what? Family. So for him, he survived. Napoleon was a survivor. It is this that gave him an upper hand. It tries to what? To power. So Napoleon was a very lucky man. Even he was born in 1769. And the Kosik had been conquered in 1768, which made him to be a Frenchman. By what? By birth. I can tell you, Napoleon was a very lucky man. Luck was moving with him. Another one, the weakness of the directorate government. Let me tell you, the directorate government, which took political power after the reign of terror, was very weak. It failed to solve the hard economic equations of the time. I can tell you there was economic crisis, unemployment, and the directorial government chose Napoleon in a strategic missions. It is this that led to Napoleon's rise to what? So Napoleon capitalized on the weakness of the directorial government to campaign for him what? Him was him. That's why he was chosen. I can tell you, Napoleon had to get political power 
because of the weakness of the directorate government. Then uh, another lead issue, the success of the Italian campaign. I can tell you 1796, the Italian campaign, when Napoleon was chosen to lead his soldiers to go and liberate Italy from Austria, raised the name of Napoleon Bonaparte, even those who did know him had a reason to do it, to know him. That's why he became a household name. I can tell you the Italian campaign of 1790 raised the greatness of Napoleon Bonaparte. By the time he rose up and he was campaigning for leadership, people knew him. That's why he was chosen out together. And this led to his rise to what? To power. Then the coup d'etat, the what? The coup d'etat of Brumaire 1799 is considered as the most immediate factor that opened the doors for Napoleon's rise to what? To power. Having found the deteriorating social and economic conditions, Napoleon conspired with some of the directors and majority of the Council of Elders to overthrow the directorate government. I can tell you he cooperated with some key directors of the directorate government and Napoleon had it rise to what? To power. So the year 1799 was not a normal year. Because in this year, Napoleon took political what? Power. Of course, praise be to his parents, Charles Bonaparte. Then talk about, talk about Letizia Bonaparte. Would have known Letizia, struggling woman. But we, they had, we are going to see factors for the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte to power in 1799. Number one, the annexation of Corsica Island by France in 1768. Let me tell you today, Corsica was part of Italy, but it was conquered by France in 1768. 